Alrighty. Hi there. I'm Chris from Air Windows, and it is getting on towards the holiday season. And I have a feeling that many uh, plug-in makers and companies and such get very busy doing amazing epic things for Christmas and New Year's and all of these holidays that you could have. So I'm going to kind of do the opposite. Um, I am busily working on a bunch of stuff. Some of it is going to be real interesting to you. I have a EQ that is going to find its way into new versions of console. It's that good. And I have a um, kind of a uh, new loudinator, which is not really a new loudinator, but it's some evolution of stuff. These things are coming. I'll get them to you. This week, however, let's just do something called... Biquad. No, wait. Biquad one half. I'll be pretty brief about this. You can play with it if you want. If you don't want, that's fine too. I figure that a lot of people are going to be very busy doing, you know, amazing things. And uh, this is a good moment for me to kind of sit low because there's going to be a lot of noise around. And I might not be able to come up with promotional value. So I'd better wait until things quiet down a little bit before releasing things of mine that are really impressive. This, however, is maybe impressive or maybe not. Here. Now, we already heard that. Let's try this. So, this is a filter and I can turn on Biquad. And as long as I don't sweep it too hard, because this is the set and forget version, but what is biquad one half though? It is slightly different. As you can see, it's still set up much the same way as the previous one, but biquad one half is an interleaved biquad filter. What that means is it can't sweep up in as high a pitch as the other one. Here's what interleaved means. Interleaved means I'm running two separate banks of filters and they're doing every other sample. So the reason one might do this is if one thought there was something interesting or special having to do with the way that um, sampling works by only working on combinations of samples rather than individual ones. Essentially, if you assume that an individual sample is meaningless because the audio signal is only combinations of samples, you might try doing interesting things regarding uh, doing your calculations among sets of samples or indeed interleaved sets of samples that are uh, odd and even samples. And what I'll do is I'll show you this has a number of things going on, and this affects some of the work that I've been doing coming up and it's going forward. But we can hear that we can sweep the, the frequency around. That is, if we set it to this other bicode. And this is the sound of an Air Windows bicode filter a certain amount of uh, resonance on there. It's a little loud. And it has a distinct sound to it. But if I go to the interleaved by quad, it's similar, but we have some distinctness to it. For instance, let me go to this roughly Q of about one, and I'll find a very similar uh, setting for each of them. By quarter and a half can be also about 0 0.01, and by quad No, I have to set it back. That's the trouble with having two of these things open is that, uh, oh no wait, that's zero, zero, 001. 
Let's try to get this to work. And now since they are not quite the same algorithm, we'll have a different sound. And the biquad interleaved needs to be given about twice the setting, or exactly twice the setting of the previous one. So we'll set it to 0 0.02. Uh, if or indeed we were setting the right one, because I keep adjusting the wrong one. Don't mind me. Another reason that I'm cooling things off for the holiday season is that I do need to rest up a bit, and I will be able to do that. But, so, here's our 0 0.01 on biquad. And about 0 0.02. Now listen closely. These are fairly closely matched, but the default um, biquad filter, it's not interleaved, so it's gonna handle stuff near the Nyquist frequency slightly differently. In fact, let's give it some Q for just fun. 2.01. Now, if I put it to the other one, We have a certain ability to depict stuff in the sound picture that's different from the regular one because it is interleaved. Again, I'll go back. This is the normal biquad in that it is not interleaved. It is still an air bi biquad. And it's got a roll off and a cue and stuff. But then if we go to this one, there's a certain tonality to the stuff that's getting filtered out. Because it's running interleaved, it's filtering in a different way, its uh, roll-off is different, and the way that it interacts with the Nyquist frequency is different. And this, this comes into play when we're doing this very uh, uh, roll-off that's getting rid of a lot of highs. Or we can go to setting three, Now here we have a similar behavior. We can even crank up, uh, let's see. Nine point nine nine. So now we have fairly similar settings on this. And we can hear that our biquad, the regular one, again, with the frequency about half what it would otherwise be, is giving your typical digital filter kind of sound. But there's a slightly different coloration to the interleaved one. And as long as we're gentle with it, because this is the normal kind of biquad that's not None of these are like state variable filters, so they're not synth filters. They don't want to be automated to do dramatic things. They're kind of set and forget. But, oh, and it, it's helpful to connect to the one that I'm actually demonstrating. So this is sort of the new hotness as far as bike wet filters are concerned. Again, it's better to leave it alone as far as its settings are concerned, and it cannot go as high as the other one. I'll demonstrate that. At least if I'm set to the right one, boy, it's difficult. The regular biquad filter can pretty accurately focus on extremely high frequency sounds. But, the interleaved biquad filter is limited. It can only go so high. So the question becomes, do you like the sound that it gives relative to the other biquad? And the answer is, well, I hope so, because it's going to find its way into some of my stuff. 
but um, this is basically just a toy for those of you who are playing with sort of the raw filters out of the ear window setup. Bike Quad 2 was the one that's a little more sweepable. And this is a tonal upgrade, although a very subtle one. And the idea is it should give you sort of an extra mojo to the tonality. Even when we get some funkiness going on like here, where we're doing very low frequency stuff. The uh, interleaved factor is going to provide just a little bit more definition onto some of these sounds. Even when they're a little unusual. And again, we have the inverse wet. That's more relevant on like uh, the, the type for doing a peak. And again, inverse wet works best at 0 0.5. This is my funky biquad technology here. If you go to full inverse, it's basically phase flipped uh, regular sound or phase 50 Q sound. Anyways, that'll do for now. I'm taking longer than I was expecting to try to explain this because it's an unusual plugin. And unusual as it may be, let's make it sit out of the way for a second. I've been working on a lot of stuff. You can see in the background, I have a new sign up there. You might not be able to read this, so I'll fiddle with my uh, adjustable focus. Stream time 136. That is tied to, um, here, let me fiddle with the focus some more. There we go. Good enough. That is tied to how much my Patreon brings in. So from now on, uh, the Patreon rises, you get like minute after minute more of the live streamings that I do. And I'll take a couple of minutes to explain what that is about as well. On Monday, I do a question and answer session and I'll answer questions people have about plugins or mixing or mastering and any of that. I, I just had somebody email me asking if I have recommendations for mixing and mastering, and it'd probably be better if I talk about that stuff on stream, ideally with uh, examples and things. Now, Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm going to be doing a new thing that's coming in 2020, which is uh, like the uh, Air Windows Evergreens, podcast except for online uh, YouTube and I'm going to be playing stuff off of SoundClouds and things, patron music, or indeed anybody who shows up and wants to have their stuff heard and uh, analyzed, speculated on. That's why I got these uh, headphones that are a little better behaved than the ones that I had so that I can more critically listen to stuff. And I will critique and encourage your music and try to talk about what's good about it and where you can go with it, things that you can do. So if people are talking about mixing and mastering, it's kind of meaningless without the context of what you're trying to do. That said, I think I can handle just about any genre that comes my way, so we will see what happens. And again, an hour and 36 minutes of uh, talk about your music, perhaps. And then the remaining one, because I haven't decided which is going to be which, uh, either Tuesday or Wednesday, I do a live music jam with the studio that I've got back here. And that is kind of, gives me a lock in on how I build these plugins and tunes my ear to what I'm trying to accomplish with all this. It's how I can do something like an upgrade by going to buy quad one half and hear a difference because I'm used to listening to analog sounds. So I can kind of pick out the issues with digital and try to solve them. All of this is powered by Patreon. I'm very grateful for Patreon. That means I'm able to do things like reinvest in the channel and in the stuff that I do. And 
as of 2020, I'm going to be actively bringing more of that to people. So I will listen to your music online one day a week and uh, we'll talk about it. And then on Monday, I answer questions. And then on the third day, I uh, make music. And then on Wednesday evenings, not this coming Wednesday, but it's coming up pretty soon, people were trying to look for me to do something just sort of entertaining. So me and some friends, which could involve you, you if you are down with this kind of thing and can run TeamSpeak, uh, I'll be doing a sort of unwind stream, a hangout stream, which is based on a weird mod that I made in Minecraft, but that's just sort of the, the, that's just the coat hanger on which I hang like friendship and hanging out with people that I like. And I'll have some people that you've not met who are friends of mine. And I might have people that you have met because some of you might choose to come along and that'd be great fun. It's not going to be work. That's going to be the 11 o'clock streams that I do. But, uh, I'll probably be able to answer the occasional question, but it's not going to be fundamentally about the question. It'll be it'll be more about just sort of general creativity and hanging out with people and spending some time. So you'll see that develop as it comes. Uh, I'm still kind of working out how to use YouTube as they keep changing their things around, and that's rather maddening, but whatever. And I have now taken about a half an hour or 45 minutes hanging around talking about this plugin that I was going to just dump on the world without talking about it at all. Go figure. Happy holidays, folks. I'll see if I can't rest up a little bit. It's like the fellow said, um, if I had more time, I would be able to write you a shorter letter. And if I was more together, I'd be able to make you a shorter video and stay to the point much more accurately. But for the time being, I hope you enjoy Biquad one half, the interleaved form of Biquad. And I have a bunch of cool plugins that are coming, but don't feel worried if this doesn't seem interesting to you because it's the holidays. Everybody's really busy spending big advertising budgets, making their new stuff out and getting heard. And my thing is going to get buried anyway, so I thought I might as well throw something where it's kind of a side interest, kind of just developing the technology or something. And that's cool. It's not a problem. So I will talk to you folks later. Bye-bye.